Amanda, nice Amanda. to meet you. Okay. I'm Patricia. How are you doing today? I'm good. I'm okay. You're okay? Mm -hmm. Um, having a good day? Good morning? Yeah, so far, yeah. <laughs> it's been great, actually. It's, it's pretty out. It's be nice mm -hmm. weather today, mm -hmm. huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, um, so I know you're here to come and speak about your smoking. Mm -hmm. um, I just want you to know that this con conversation is totally confidential. Okay. Um, uh, feel free to talk about whatever you'd like to. Mm -hmm. um, we'd like to keep the conversation open. Just, you set the agenda. Okay. So, um, so maybe you could talk a little bit about the history of your smoking. Go Oh, I've been smoking for an awful long time. I started smoking when I was in uh, high school. Uh -huh. And uh, it's it's a major part of my life, actually. It's it's very much a part of my life. <clears throat> um, so, um, as of now, how is your smoking currently? How so you started in high school. Uh -huh. How much do you smoke? How much? Um, oh, I smoke you know, between pack, pack and a half a day. Um, and have for years. I mean, that's been pretty consistent for, for quite a few years. I don't think I started with that many, obviously, but uh, it's, it's progressed to that. I see. <clears throat> um, so how do you feel about your smoking? Well, I'm, I feel like I need to get it out of my life. Um, I know that it, um, it impacts me very much um, negatively and, and I, uh, I feel like I have to do something to stop. Um, I'm just really not sure how to go about doing it. I'm just not sure you know how to quit. I'm not sure um, you know I know I'm gonna miss it. I, I enjoy smoking um, but I also know that it's not good for me and I, I need to quit. Um, so when do you usually smoke? Oh, I think I smoke very predictably throughout the day. I smoke first thing in the morning. I have a um, cigarette and coffee. Um, you know, that's sort of the reason I get out of bed is sort of plan the day and, and get organized. I, I smoke in the car. I smoke um, after every meal. Um, I smoke when I get upset. I smoke when I get stressed out about stuff. Um, half the time I don't even think about it. I, I just automatically do it. It's just a, you know, part of my life. Um, so smoking for you is kind of like a routine thing, just very nice about it, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so it sounds like you feel bad about smoking, that you, you want to change. Well, I, I do think that it's impacting my life at this point. I, I feel like um, my health is being um, challenged at this point. Right. Um, my grandson's health is now being challenged. Um, he, he had a, um, an episode of asthma um, just last week, and the doctors told my daughter, they said, he has got to be away from smokers. You know, And I, I don't smoke when he's in the room. I never smoke when he's in the room, but um, I always go outside. Um, but I, I'm afraid for him, too. Um. So, on a scale of um, 0 to 10, with 0 being not very important at all and 10 being very important to you, how, um, if you, I don't know, let's look at this, how is important is it to you to change, to quit smoking? Well, I would say, um, based on the things that have happened just lately within the last couple of weeks, I would say it's gone up quite a bit. Um, I would say it's probably at eight, somewhere in that vicinity. So in the last couple of weeks, what has happened other than, I know you talked about your... My grandson, grandson number grandson. one, yeah. um, that was a biggie. And um, I, you know, I swim over at Mac Pool every um, three days a week. Mm -hmm. um, and I swim for a half hour. And I have been finding it um, more difficult to finish the swim. I'm, I'm getting somewhat short of breath. Oh, I see. And um, last week... Two weeks ago, I had some bronchitis. Um, oh, okay. So I just, you know, I guess that I'm thinking that, um, you know, health-wise, some of this stuff is certainly related to smoking, you know. So right. I really probably should stop. I mean, you know, 
So I would say just within the last couple of weeks, it's been even more important than I quit. Right. So it sounds like it's really important to you to keep swimming and lead an active lifestyle, mm -hmm. and smoking is getting in the way with that. It, it, absolutely. You know, and I, I, um, I really enjoy the swim, and I think it's, it's very good for me. Um, but like I said, I've been having a hard time finishing for the last couple of weeks. It also sounds like health is really important to you. Yes. Yes, it is. Um, so, how confident on a scale of 0 to 10, 0 being not confident at all, and 10 being very confident, are you that you can stop smoking? Well, you know, that's where it really is very, very difficult. Um, I would say it, my confidence is pretty low. Uh, maybe 3, 4, at the most. Yeah. Yeah. So, I agree. Well, um, I'm, uh, I have not been able to do it before. I mean, I've tried before, and I've not been able to do it. Um, I have been a miserable failure, actually, at, at trying to quit smoking. And uh, um, I'm very fearful of trying it again and not succeeding. Um, I know it's hard. Um, I know I feel terrible. Um, it, it's... You know, I, I guess I, I just don't, I don't feel like I really have a plan. I don't feel like I have the, the tools to do it, and I, and I don't know how to do it. But you still picked a three. You, I mean, you could have gone lower, you could have picked a zero. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. why not lower? Well, um, I guess I, you know, I have, I've tried before, and um, I, I guess I, I know that um, that it's important, um, so I guess I I feel like um, you know that I I could try it again, uh, you know, and I, I feel like maybe maybe I can get some help this time, or maybe plan better or something. So, so what have you tried in the past? Well, I would say the um, the first two times I tried. Um, I, I didn't do any planning. I didn't do any organizing. I didn't do anything that said, okay, here's the time, and this is. I kind of surrendered to my kids was the first time. They were bugging me, and they said, Mom, you gotta quit. You gotta quit. So I said, okay, I'll, I'll quit. So that was a very bad experience. I, I it was, you know, I, I felt really terrible, and it was, uh, it wasn't a good one. And then um, the last time I tried, I got some of that, uh, that gum. I went over to Meyer and got some of that uh, nicotine gum. But I didn't find that very helpful for me. I mean, it didn't seem to do much for, for the quitting part. So I, you know, so I really haven't been very good at, at quitting. But um, but I'm willing to try it again because of my grandbaby now and try it. everything. <clears throat> so it sounds like um, your kids are also very important to you and. Previously, you tried to quit, but it, it didn't go work so well. So maybe addressing some of the barriers you had before, like maybe some of the pressure. It sounds like you felt a little bit pressured by your family to quit, and mm -hmm. maybe that wasn't working for you, or mm -hmm. so maybe you working on something like that. Mm -hmm. um, so, but you did say a three, so mm -hmm. you, you do realize that there is room for you to possibly do something. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Right, right, right. Um, so, uh, just about you generally. So, um, I just want to get a better sense about some of your values. Maybe some things that are very important to you. I know you talked a little bit about your family, mm -hmm. your son, mm -hmm. your grandson. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned that you like to exercise. But um, we actually have a list here of uh, commonly mentioned um, uh, values to people's lives. And maybe if you'd like to take a look at them. And, see if any of them um, resonate with you. Just you'd like to know maybe two or three values that are important to you as a person. Well, I guess, um, like you said, I would, I would say parent, grandparent uh, would, grandparent. would certainly be, uh, and, and parent, but I, the kids are out of the house now, so I guess grandparent would probably be more logical on that. Um, and I guess the one thing that I just don't feel like um, is happening right now, but I certainly like to have it happen, is 
I feel like I, I would like to be more in control of myself and, and of the cigarettes and stuff. And I feel like really that right now the cigarettes control me. Um, and and I, um, I don't like that. I, like, I, I would like to be more in control on that whole situation. So um, I guess those would be a couple of things that I would, I would mention. I get this impression that you're just, you feel really powerless about this. This yeah, issue. exactly, exactly, because I, you know, whenever I've tried to, to just um, eliminate cigarettes, I, I can't do it, um, even when I try to cut down, I can't do it very well, and um, um, half the time that I smoke, I, I don't even, I'm hardly even aware of it, I mean, I, you know, I start the car and I light the cigarette, it's always part of the same you know, movement and stuff, right. and it, it, it just feels like that that's so much a part of my life that, that it certainly controls me. So I know you talked a little bit about um, your family pressuring you to quit smoking, and I don't mean a, a way that was working for you, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, it's interesting you never mentioned anything about um, maybe some support that may work for you or, you know, uh, other people in your life who may have some influence like over helping you quit? Well, my kids would certainly be delighted if I quit smoking. I mean, they, they were the ones that were, you know, they've always been saying, Mom, you've got to quit, you know. And my husband, even though I'm, I'm, I become extremely crabby um, when I try to quit, very crabby, um, he, is, he is very happy that I'm here trying to get some help. Um, so I would say my family would be very happy if I quit smoking. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure about the ladies at work and such that I smoke with. I mean, they, you know, we all go out for break and stuff, and I, I'm not sure how that's going to go over. But, um, mm -hmm. you know, I would say certainly my family's very happy that I'm right. trying to do this. So you do have your husband to definitely rely on mm -hmm. a little bit with mm -hmm. this and your family. Mm -hmm. Um. So, I know you mentioned that being a grandparent, a good grandparent was important, and to be in control mm -hmm. um, was also important for you, and these were uh, two areas that relate to your smoking that you think that by quitting smoking, you would be a better person for? <coughs> yeah. Is that true? <coughs> mm -hmm. um, and you mentioned, you know, that you have, um, you're, you visited the doctor, mm -hmm. the doctor mm -hmm. said that you have some issues, or? Right, right, I mean, he, he made, a, you know, no bones about it, that, you know, smoking certainly adds to any, or, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> any respiratory stuff. Mm -hmm. I had the bronchitis, and I, I haven't been um, able to do the swim like I normally have, you know, and, and such, so he's, he's strongly um, encouraging me to, to quit, to think about quitting. And you said the gum didn't work for you. You know, it, it didn't. I, it, it tastes terrible, and it. Um, I, I guess I thought it would be really helpful, um, you know, and, and I, I still felt like I wanted a cigarette. I still, you know, I, it just didn't, it didn't do anything for me. Mm -hmm. Have you tried any other types of ways to reduce your smoking? No, I usually, you know, I have tried a couple of times, I guess one way that I have tried a couple of times is to try to, to reduce the number of cigarettes that I smoke in a day. Mm -hmm. um, but I never seem to be able to get past a pack. I mean, that seems to be my, my lowest amount. You know, I need to have at least that many cigarettes. Um, so I really haven't been very good at that. And I've been somewhat intrigued with, um, I know there's, all kinds of things out there nowadays to, to try to help you. So I, <coughs> I figure that's what I'm going to need. Right. Is something that, that helps me. Now, I know that there are some other types of replacement therapies, and you said you were interested in knowing about them. And I'm not sure if these will work for you, but um, just to let you know that these, that these do exist, there are other options like um, a spray and an inhaler, which are prescription, mm -hmm. which we talked to a physician about. Mm -hmm. There's, also There's five minutes left in the interview. And um, there are certain other drugs like 
ibuprofen, mm -hmm. and there's something called Shantex, which has actually shown a 44% success rate hmm. yeah, in studies, so mm -hmm. it may be an option for you mm -hmm. that you might want to think about. So. Yeah, I thought some, I've always kind of felt in the back of my mind that, um, that I needed, I couldn't do it just by willpower. I mean, my willpower just is not enough. I just... I mean, I've shown myself then again and again that willpower is just not enough. So I, I feel like I need something, medicine or, or some other method that's going to help me yeah. with this whole thing. So, yeah, it definitely sounds that like some sort of um, assistance, like medical assistance will, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. a medication or something to just get you on the right, the right track to start to stop smoking. Mm -hmm. Right. So I'm just going to summarize here to make sure I understand everything the, that you talked about um, accurately. You talked about how you've been a smoker since high school. Mm -hmm. You've been smoking quite a, quite a bit a lot, quite a bit lately um, throughout your life, um, and it's something that you seem you, you don't really like. It's not part of your values. You like to be a healthy person. You swim. Mm -hmm. um, it sounds like you take care of yourself in other ways also, mm -hmm. and. Um, uh, it's something that you'd like to stop. And the family issue is kind of like a double-edged sword. It's a good thing, but you felt kind of pressured at one point mm -hmm. to quit smoking, but that didn't really work for you. Um, but you did write that you have, um, that you really want to change and that you do think that it is possible for you to change with some sort of assistance like medication or things like that. Mm -hmm. um, so it sounds like you've talked about a lot of um, potential uh, areas where you can make changes. So you, we talked a little bit about medications. You said that your willpower was low, and maybe that might be an option, and um, cutting back here and there. Um, so from what we talked about, um, what do you think is going to work best for you? Well, um, I don't know. I, 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 I think I would... Um be sort of inclined to maybe try um, one of the, the medicines. Mm -hmm. um, I think that that, um, I, I'm not real crazy about the idea of the nicotine stuff because um, it didn't seem to work, you know, for me. Um, but I have, uh, you know, sort of in the back of my mind been thinking that maybe, maybe one of the medicines would be helpful. I don't know. So I'm, I'm kind of leaning in that direction, I guess, is to, but you know, that, yeah, I always worry about medicine and stuff like that too. So, but I, I, I just definitely know that I need some assistance, right. uh, stronger assistance than just my willpower because it just that just doesn't work. So, so maybe getting a little bit more information from a doctor or something might be an option for you okay. to know more about the medication. Mm -hmm. it sounds like it, that's mm -hmm. what you're saying. Mm -hmm. um, so, what can we do to make this happen? What, how can we get you to go to the doctor? And, when do you think you can get this rolling? Well, I certainly, um, um, you know, could at least um, read about some of the medicines and stuff. And, and uh, you know, I, I don't know whether the doctor would have more information or not. Maybe I could mm -hmm. just look it up online. Uh, you, know. mm -hmm. you mentioned the Shantex, and then mm -hmm. there's a couple other ones that yeah, are, are available. Mm -hmm. So maybe I, you know, I guess that's a, a thought. I guess probably coming around to the idea that I need to to use something other than just willpower is probably right. what I need. But I could I could certainly look it up. <clears throat> see what, see what. So maybe over the, the next few days? Or mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I could do that. Mm -hmm. um, so hopefully, when can I see you again? Maybe we can talk about um, where you are with this. The next. Um, I, you know, I guess I can, Yeah, I guess within a week or two. I can. anything else you'd like to ask me or to talk about or well I guess there's you know there's always the the worry that you have about um, you know gaining lots of weight and um, you know because I, I know that that can happen and mm -hmm. I worry about that a bit and uh, I worry about failing again you know those are those are big worries that I have that you know, I, I just I want to I want to have a better a better handle on things I guess this time than before. So, do you have it up? Please begin feedback feedback session. <laughs>